Hello mga ka Welcome back to my YouTube channel! Once again, this is VG Imperial, your Bicolanang food blogger. Diyos na rahay na daw sa inyong gabos! And for sure, marami sa inyo ang na-miss ang aking mga recipe! That's why I'm here again! And for today's vlog, we will show you how to cook easy recipe with my cousin Villa. So without further ado, let's watch this. For today's recipe, ang gagamitin natin na isda ay si brim. We have vegetables, purito, carrots, garlic, lemon, black pepper and salt, ginger, tomatoes, and white onion. So ayan na nga po mga ka -Vigi. So yung ating vlog for today ay meron po ng twist dahil hindi po si Vigi Imperial ang ating chef for today. So I would like to introduce to you guys my cousin. Her name is Villa. And now, ipapakita po niya kung paano niya i-prepare ang kanyang recipe na baked fish with full of garlic and vegetables. Ngayon na i-prepare na po ang lahat ng mga ingredients, pati po yung mga vegetables, at nalinisa na rin po ang ating isda. Ngayon ay binubudbura na po ni Villa ng bawang na iniwan niya po ng pagkapinong pino. Ayan, so kailangan parang mas lalong sumarap ang kanyang baked fish. So mas maraming bawang, mas masarap. And I agree with that. After seasoning of the garlic, sunod na po ang kanyang ginger na hiniwa rin po ng pagka pinong, pinong Very easy po yung procedure. So, ibubudbud lang po natin siya sa buong katawan ng ating isda. Yeah, you sprinkle all over the world and then squeeze the lemon. <laughs> hey, you know, if we cook here, like yesterday, you know, it's boring here. No, no, no. No, no, it depends on the temperature. Kasi ang kahapon, pinulumuyat ko tapos inuot. Dapat ang may sauce. Ang sabaw. For additional information, si Brim Fish, or as we call it in Greece, Chipura, it's one of the most flavorful fish that is well praised by everyone for its impeccable taste as well as its nice looks. Even back in ancient times, sea brim was devoted to the goddess Aphrodite by the ancient Greeks as it was one of the best fish you could have. And after squeezing the lemon, Villa will add salt and black pepper. And take note lang po mga guys, sa paglalagay po ng ating salt ay depende po sa inyong panglasa. Pero wag naman po sobrang maalat at wag din naman po ng kote. Sakto lang, kumbaga moderate lang po. Alam nyo ba guys, na mas prefer nitong fish na si Brim na dapat light cook lang siya. And because of it's such a nice fish, it deserves to be cooked with respect. You should allow it to give you its full taste, meaning that you need not put any heavy stuff on it nor use any heavy cooking methods like frying. And this fish really shines if it's cooked gently. That's what we are doing right now. Kasi nagibit si Ra. Ayon sa ilarom. Ibatang. Oh, expert na si Madam Villa. Ito kung talaga yun sa nakagi, kaya may mga gulay-gulay at ito. Okay, madam. Yan ang karang niluto mo. Skinless na chicken nuggets. Skinless? Ito siya. Ang galing. Ang galing-galing naman. Oh, kuna ko sa gilid mo yung olive butang. Kasi, nang takot ako pa yung kadapang matutong gilid na po. Kaya takot na yung supporter siya. Tinihan mo na yung butang yun ng mga iba na bilay. Pag maluto mo siya, ano siya? 
Nana is not, but I'm not going to show my little. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, On top of that, sea bream is a widely considered by chefs to be the tastiest of all fish. And if you could ask, what are the benefits of sea bream fish or ano nga ba yung mga binibisyo na makukuha natin sa isdang ito? It has rich source of omega-3 fatty acids, high protein content, important source of essential vitamins and minerals, and low saturated fats. We're gonna put olive oil. And lastly, Villa put a little bit of salt to taste. Ayan, ready na po ang ating fish. Put the foil. Tibay. Okay, pag binibake man talaga ni Nene, ipo-foil man talaga. Imbubutan ang bagas ng foil ha. Pag evaporate ang kanya. Buka-buka. Pero dapat dili matutong ang ano, kalalay lang ang kalayuhan. Preheat oven to 230 degrees luscious or 446 degrees Fahrenheit. A few minutes later. Sige, buksin na. Ay, tigman ko. Sabaw, may kunting sauce. Ah, okay na. Matap na yan ni Nene. Sakto lang. Manamis-namis na mga aslong, mga aslong. May kadili siya na dry ho. Sige pa. After 14 minutes, hahanguin na muna ni Villa at i-check niya kung okay na or kailangan pa natin ulit isa lang. Ooh, wow! Baka kay Puhan ka pa inip. Pakalayuhan ang ito ba? Kay! Para mag ano ang puhan ito. Or just so balik na doon? No, no, no. Dapat magkalayo ang top. Pawa na po tayo ng anik-anik. Ayan, salang po ulit natin. Para lang kung ano ang... Ayun, may kalayo ang top. Let's change the bag. Let's change the bag. Let's change the bag. Let's change the bag. Fish. Fish. Okay. It's ready. Is it ready to transfer? Oh, it's transferred. Okay. Okay, we're going to transfer. We're going to transfer. We're going to transfer. We're going to transfer. Here you go. And here is the baked fish a la Villa. Dati, hindi na sarabot magluto-luto. Ayos nga, hindi nagpurulog sa rin. Kitaan niyan kay Baganaan in mamani-mani na lang ho. Hamakon mo kung wara mo yung tatsaga eh, mahala man. Basi niyan niya ito kalang hamok dito sa koan. Patan-utan. Patan-utan ng hamok sa mbago. Patan-utan. 
Oh, ito! Ay, kaganda! Magayon na lang siya! And that's colorful. Yes! Wow! Talaga naman nakakatakam itong recipe ng aming pinsa na si Fila. Hindi lang siya sa looks, mukhang masarap, but in reality, talagang super sarap. And suggestive cooking po is like 30 to 45 minutes lang po. Saktong-sakto lang po yan para maluto po ang ating fish. And to be honest, mga kawiji, normally po ay hindi talaga kami madalas nagluluto nitong ista kasi masyado po siyang expensive. Especially po this time. Kailangan natin mag-tight ng ating mga budget so mga normal dishes lang muna. And our baked fish a la Villa is ready to serve. It's eating time! Thank you so much Villa for this recipe na ishinare mo po sa amin. Kainan time! Woo! Natakam din ba kayo guys? I would like to say thank you so much for always supporting my vlog and for those newly on my channel don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and click the notification bell button to keep you updated for my new vlog. Thank you. Kain time. Just marvelous. Thank you for watching.